Hello there, how is it going? My dear people, my dear watchers, my dear viewers, my dear, my dear followers, how are you today? Uh, today we have a very nice and interesting position here that I would like to show you. Black is next to move. Look at this. You see white has five pieces right now they are men and black pieces are four they are men too so black pieces are next to move okay I do this and look the way this game is going to be like then white pieces decides to do this if he moves like that then you turn your piece going to your right now I'm going to the I mean going to your left I'm going to my right okay going to your left and now he's he's about to move this piece up right here or either right here he can also move like this if he blocks whether or not I am going to move this piece right now until uh, to this square let's suppose he's moving this right here I'm going to move this to force him to move the way I want him to move this piece from this square to this square I do this he goes up trying to get something then I look for the king he gets the king I get my king. Now he is next to move. Let's suppose he is taking this piece right now. Okay. What I do is this. I move this space right here because I already know that's his that his movement is this one he's jumping from this square to this square he got the piece he got the piece and now I am ready to move from this square he jumped from this square to this square he got the piece that was here now I'm next to move I can move differently but I'm going to move this one into this square because this is a queen remember I mean I mean a king remember and this is a king so he cannot move this I am forcing him to stay like that now he can move this if he wants to but I'm taking his piece now he still has some advantage uh, in this case now as I jumped he is next to move he'll move like this he can move his his king right here if he wants to let's let's play this way there are many variations in this game he he would be moving uh, foolish if he moves on this square even on this square so his best move movement is this one but I but I am net so I'm moving this and forcing him to move he cannot move this anymore here because if he does I'm going to do this so and that's bad for him so he'll move this piece up whether this way or this way so let's suppose he's moving into his right right now I what I do here is I move this piece up and he's next to to move he will not allow this piece to be here he can move this way either this way let's suppose he's moving into this this this, this kind of way then I'm moving with him and then he moves the he moves the piece 
and then I do this in order for him to move this piece. Look what I do. I am moving from this square to force him. I am moving from this square to this square to force him to get it out somehow. He can also move differently by moving let me set all this. Let me set this. By moving this one into this square. But I will get his piece. And we are four against three pieces. So as he does this, what I do for nets is Oh wait, this was a king and a king, right? So wait a minute. So something went different. Let me think about that. Okay. He's moving this one. I cannot put myself. I wanted to get double. Okay, let's go back to it. Let's go back to it. I'm going to move into this square because this movement right here was bad. This is a king. If it was a if it had been a man, I would allow him to move this way then I place myself into this square then he'll take the piece up and I would move like this and we would be 2-2 two, 2 versus 2 so let's go back to things okay I am moving my king right here so he goes to move I'm going to get a king he goes to move I'm going to get a king. He goes to move. I'm going to get a king. As he continues moving, I continue getting my king. He could have moved into this square if he wanted to, but that would be either way uh, bad for him. So, what I do this. I mean, what I do on this case is allow him to move. Then let's go to play going to this type of sign. But if he does commit this mistake, look the way. He is already uh, at. I mean, in uh, look, look at this. If he moves like this, I can't force him to move this piece, this piece right here. And if he, do, if he goes like this, I can't do the triple right here. He gets my piece and I get one, two, three. And I have won the game, right? So, if he moves like this, if he moves from this square to this square, I can force the same way of movement. He goes like this, I force him to capture my piece and I would go one, two, three, right? But let's go back, let's go back. Let's go back in that. Okay. Let's suppose the worst. Let's suppose he's moving this piece up. What I need to do is to move this piece as he's moving. He has this king and this king. Okay. Let's suppose he's trying to get these things out. He cannot move this into this square. He can he must be really careful about these two men right now. So I have move into this square. So he needs to move this one or either this one, okay? This one or this one. So the, the, the both of his kings. Now we have seen too many things already on this game. So Let's suppose he moves this one in order to get this out. Let's suppose he is moving this one.
that's a safe way because he has a king right here but let's suppose he's getting something else like this he can he can already move this one into this square and it would still be safe because he has this king right here you know there are too many things he can move this king and he has two kings and two men I am moving with him and he must move this one he's forced to move it so I can go to this square and for, force him to move this king into this square either into this square it can be here either here because if he moves this one I can take a double shot and he wouldn't allow it so he's playing smart right and I got three kings now we are 3-3 three, three. and he continues moving his piece and I continue moving my king and he will try to get this one as a king and I'm moving safely 